Today I'm going to show you some self-defense techniques that don't require any fight experience. In this video, I'll be showing you some truly beginner techniques. You may have seen other videos on YouTube that say they're for beginners, but in reality, it requires more skill. I'm about to show you three techniques that literally anybody can do. Yes, literally, even you. These techniques will play off of a person's natural reaction, which will make them easier to learn and easier to remember. But first, since this is for the ladies, I might need an assistant. Cadabra. Cadabra. Abra. Cadabra. Huh? So first, we're gonna go with the arm grabs. We're gonna start with the wrist, then work our way up to the elbow, and then last but not least, the shoulder. I'm gonna start off by grabbing her wrist, and then I'll show you how to get out of that situation. So once I hold on to this wrist, I have a couple ways to get out, but today we're gonna work on circular motion, wrist control. The key to remembering this technique is to wave at your attacker. So she's gonna wave towards my thumb, which is the weak point of my grip. So, wave to me. Bam, and she's breaking out of my grip, and she's also catching on to my wrist. She can catch on to my wrist, or she can just take off. I prefer just take off. She's gonna show you how to wave in front of your attacker. Just wave. Easy as that. In front of them, wave so they can see it. Anyway, so I hold on to the wrist. She waves. Bam, she's out of that. Simple as that, wrist control. As we all know, nothing is 100%. It's a chance the attacker may be way stronger than you. So in that case, you would need more than wrist control and circular motion. You would need leverage. So if I were to put my full strength into this grip, even with the circular motion, she would not get out of this hold. So if she tries, go. Exactly, it would not go. I don't care how much strength she uses, she will not break my grip if I'm way stronger than her. There's always other ways to go around this. Leverage. So instead of her using her strength alone, she's gonna use her strength of her arm plus the strength of her body. She's gonna use her leverage by using her body to help get her out. Not only is she gonna snatch out, but she's gonna use her body and momentum to use the weight plus strength. Yeah, I heard it pop. <laughs> See, now she's not using her leverage. She's just jumping back and trying to snatch her arm out. But the leverage that we need, we need to pry our arm out. So if she grabs my wrist, I use zero strength. So just to show you that it's all about leverage. She's jumping to the side and then yanking out. If I jump to the side and then yank out, I'm still using my arm strength not gonna work. Another thing that she's doing, she's standing right in front of me. Like my chest is towards her chest, which means I'm not using my leverage. I'm going here. It's still, I'm not using leverage because I'm still facing her. I wanna turn away. I wanna go this way. So without using strength, use all your strength. I'm gonna go step. And then as I turn this back foot, chest is towards the exit way and I'm getting out of there so I'm not doing this this is not going to get me away I want to turn my chest outward so if I'm here I'm going so let's try it on you if I grab your wrist since I grab the opposite side whatever side arm that I grab she's gonna point her chest to the opposite direction. So I'm grabbing her left side. If I grab her left side, she's gonna point her chest towards the right. And then she's gonna use the leverage to get out. So if she's facing me, now as she swings her back foot behind her front foot, she's gonna point her chest towards the right side. So, easy as that, one more time. Exactly. So 
There's the leverage. For someone who's twice your size and twice your strength, you'll need that leverage. So remember just to point your chest towards the other direction. Next, we're going for the elbow grab. So from here, if I'm grabbing the elbow, she's gonna yank back as if she's pulling a lawnmower cord. Exactly. So, if I'm grabbing the elbow, you wanna snatch back. Nice. I'm gonna put a little bit more strength into this grip. Snatch back. What she did at this point, she snatched away, but she didn't snatch back. So, the problem that, that she will have in this situation is that she will eventually have a back turned towards the guy. So, there's one thing you don't want. If I'm grabbing the arm and she's snatching away, boom. <laughs> she's turning her back towards her attacker. So, what you wanna do is snatch back. Snatch back, bam. To avoid him attacking after you snatch back, we're gonna work on snatching back and attack. Snatch back and attack. Snatch back and attack. Anyway, all right, so. Think of snatching back and attack is you want to use everything into one motion. Your movements is going to be one full movement. It's not going to be separated. You're not going to separate your movements. So I'm going to teach self-defense striking in other videos, but I will give you one right now. One thing to learn as a female, especially try not to use your fist. If she wants to punch me in the face, she has hard hitting hands, but to a man, that wants to take something from her, it won't really phase him enough to, to back down. If she punched me in the face, boom. I might turn away for a split second, but I'm attacking, I'm gonna attack. So the one thing you wanna do is use your fingers, use your nails, you wanna claw. Dig into his eyes, dig into him. You dig into those eyes, the eyes are so sensitive. The eyes are the most sensitive part of a guy's body. So anybody's you want to, really. yeah, anybody's body. So you want to pay close attention to where you're aiming. Aim for the eyes. We're going to work it in one full motion. Whatever you do, do not separate it. So let's start off with separating so they can know what not to do. So if I'm grabbing her arm and she snatches back and then go for the claw, you're leaving me time to react to the snatch back. In reality, if she snatches back without attacking at the same time, I'm gonna attack her because I'm reacting off the snatch back. So if you put it into one full motion, it's gonna be hard for me to react to it because you're doing it at the same time you're snatching back. So at the same time, simultaneously, go. I'll have a hard time reacting to that because She's snatching back. By the time I think to react to that snatch back, I'm getting hit in the face. When you do this with a partner, do it slow. Yes. Do it slow. And the, Be kind to your partner, not to the attacker. Exactly. In the real situation, go crazy. Be my guest. When you're doing this to a partner, remember, I'm saying, the eyes are very sensitive. So if you do this to your, your partner, you're gonna hurt them, you're gonna injure them. So go slow, be kind to your friends. Last but not least, number three, we're going for the shoulders. From here, I'm the attacker, I'm grabbing the shoulder and I'm showing you how to get out of that situation. So if I'm here and I'm grabbing the shoulder tight, one thing, you want to release the pressure in the shoulder. So if I'm grabbing her shoulder, she's going to place her hand on my biceps. That alone will release some of the pressure that I'm holding on to. If I was to have her arm down, no grabbing. That's a lot of pressure. I'm, I'm gonna have the same pressure on her arm. Now put your arm. It releases. It releases the pressure. Not a lot, but uh, I mean, less pressure is always better. We're gonna keep this here the whole time. This way, if I were to move or try to hit her with this arm, she can feel where I'm moving. And wherever I go, she goes. So if I'm trying to hit her. She's blocking me from hitting. She can feel where I'm going. If I try to go under, she can feel that. If I try to trick her, she feels anything that I'm doing, any and everything. 
There's a couple of things that work to your benefit by grabbing the biceps when I'm grabbing the shoulder. You can do the same thing with grabbing the elbow, but I gave you the technique that I'm doing today. For more techniques, watch other videos. So again, I grab the shoulder, she grabbed my bicep, wherever I move, she moves. At this point, it's all about striking and defending yourself. If she's here and I still am not willing to let her go, at this point, defend yourself, get away. If I'm here, she's gonna push out, push my arm this way. By, pu by pushing my bicep, she's gonna push out. And after she push out, she's gonna go for the kill with the claws. So push out. No, so what she did there was she went with the opposite arm after she pushed my bicep over. That could work, but the strike will be more effective if you use the same arm. So once she pushes off with the, and bam. Now she can attack with the back arm. Bam. I say two no more than three strikes and get out of there. You don't want to stand there and fight with this attacker. So again, here, push off, boom, boom. And if I'm going back before she get the second strike, don't even take the second strike. If you see me going back, go, get out of there. Let's go through a review from the wrist, elbow, and back to the shoulder. If I'm grabbing here, first we're gonna go with regular wrist control, circular motion, wave towards the thumb. Bam, easy as that. Going up to the elbow again, we're gonna snatch back and attack. Boom. Last thing, we're gonna go back to the shoulder. She's gonna place her arm on my bicep, push off, and attack. Boom. And run. Safety tips to remember. Rule number one, when you have the opportunity to run, take it. Rule number two. Get towards a well-lit area, go into a business if it might be open, get around other people, and call for help immediately. And rule number three, be aggressive in your attack. Never be shy or timid. If you plan on throwing strikes, commit to it. Be confident in that attack. Always be confident, always be aggressive, and then get away afterwards. Don't be so aggressive to the point where you stay there and want to fight, but be aggressive enough just to get them off of you, and then when you find that opportunity, Go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any techniques or situations that you want to learn, feel free to leave comments down below. Be safe. Practice with a partner. Repetition makes memory. Practice it as many times as you feel like you need to, but remember, be nice to your partner. See you next time. We out. That was lame. It was lame. Oh my goodness. <laughs> nah, we're going to keep that.